I think it was great today. I had so much fun. I love performing. We had such a great crowd. There were so many kids here today, so many kids that were so interested in science. And we did the big cheer, which was a great response. Everyone had so much fun. And I, I think the uh, performance was a great success. The main thing I want to achieve in Science Cheerleader is just getting the name out there. I think it's so important to try to get young girls interested in science and let them know that you don't have to deal with the stereotypes. This is my first event with the Science Cheerleader. It really, it makes me so happy to see a little girl here today, like smiling and telling me that she likes science and she's also a dancer. And you know, if I can make the difference in one person's life to help them or to encourage them to pursue science and to pursue dancing or cheering or pageants or whatever that may be, like that, that means a lot to me. And so I started to get progressively more involved and I was invited to perform at this and the Today Show is actually uh, doing a feature on me being a PhD student in engineering and also a dancer. So this was just an awesome combination of the engineering and, and science side that the science cheerleader promotes, but also the cheering side that I love. I really hope that I can inspire someone today. Maybe one of these young girls will decide to be a dentist. So I hope that I can really make an impact on them. I know I did break a lot of stereotypes. Um, I know that a lot of people would say, oh, you were a cheerleader, then they would find out I'm a dentist, and they just couldn't believe it. Every day I get to interact with so many different people, and I get to change their smile. I love that. Definitely uh, my senior year earth science teacher, she was amazing, Mrs. Steinberg. She was just great and she really got me into it. So when I went to college at Marshall University, I decided to study geology and meteorology. And how cool is it that we have folks who are cheerleading for science? I met some of these cheerleaders not that long ago at NASA. So what I want to say to you all is keep cheerleading, keep being our ambassadors, keep working hard in school because somebody in here or in your community or in your neighboring community or in your neighboring state is going to invent that groundbreaking discovery. I think that it's very necessary for girls, especially minority girls, to see that uh, you know, anything is possible as long as you work hard and that certain occupations in certain fields are not exclusive to other people or other races. You know, everybody is smart and everybody deserves a chance and I wanted to be living proof of that and uh, I, I try to use cheerleading in general to show young girls that anything is possible and that there's a spot for you as long as you work hard. As soon as they saw us really getting into it, the kids jumped at it and they really, you know, embraced the experience and they had such a good time and that was, you know, that was great to even watch and be a part of. There were some times I was getting a little choked up because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm standing here in front of all of these kids and, you know, it's for a great cause and a great purpose. Oh,